Hello, Brian Lynch here. It's June 20th, 2012. I'm out here at my house standing by this very large, uh, very tall grapevine trellis that is uh, tall for a very good reason. Uh, this fence here uh, runs almost perfectly east-west, and my house over here is about eight feet south of that, which means in the northern hemisphere this is the shady side of the house where only moss tends to grow well. But with a little measuring, a little astronomy, and a little trigonometry, it's easy to figure out where or how high you need to place something in order to get a reasonable amount of light. Uh, but now, don't worry, uh, thanks to the miracle of the internet, uh, the astronomy and trigonometry are easy and hopefully will not bring up painful memories from high school. Uh, the first thing to do is decide when you want light to fall on your plants or trees. And uh, the answer I chose, and I think it's a pretty good answer, is when they have leaves. Uh, as most deciduous plants or trees don't really seem to care how much light they get when they don't have leaves. In Indiana, that means mid-April to about mid-September. Now comes the astronomy part, and uh, we need to figure out where in the sky the sun is going to be at noon in order to figure out what's going to be shady. And uh, this depends where in the world you happen to be located. Uh, luckily, thanks to hardworking astronomers, all you need to do is enter in your address into the Solar Electricity Handbook website, link down below, uh, and it will tell you where the sun is going to be. Uh, for me, uh, the sun happens to be at 58 degrees elevation in April and 50 degrees in September. Uh, if you were in Anchorage, Alaska, for example, uh, the sun would be at 37 degrees elevation in April and 29 degrees elevation in September. Uh, next, we measure the height of the house, and for this, I find it useful to have a 10-foot pole. Uh, this particular 10-foot pole also doubles as my apple picking device. Most roofs aren't flat, and uh, mine is no exception, so uh, I just measured uh, the roof in a couple different spots, uh, took an average, and uh, went with 14 and a half feet. Also measure the distance from the house to where you'd like something to grow. In my particular case, that's uh, nine and a half feet. Now comes the trig part, which uh, turns out to be very easy, because all you have to do is go to the uh, links down below and uh, plug in some numbers. Enter the height of your house, or wall, as side A. 14 and a half feet in my case, and the angle of the sun is angle A, and hit calculate. Side B tells you how far away from your house you need to plant something uh, to have light fall on it at noon. In my case, that's about 12 feet away from the house. But let's say you're like me and limited as to how far away from your house you can plant. In this case, uh, how far away from your house you can plant is put in as side B, and the angle of the sun uh, goes in as angle A. Hit calculate. And side A uh, becomes how far uh, above what you're planning your roof can be. In my case, that's nine and a half feet. Uh, since my roof is 14 and a half feet high, on average, uh, the stuff I need to plant has to be at least five feet off the ground in order to get sunlight in September. And that explains why the main wire here of this vertical shoot positioning trellis is at five feet high.